Hey everybody, this has been with Magic Plan. I hope everyone's had a wonderful start to their year. I'm here to discuss one of the most important topics that I'm hearing from my customers, and that is inflation. I'm sure everybody's familiar with the topic, but you might be asking yourself, why is this relevant to me and how I'm using Magic Plan? Well, if you're one of our estimate users, you're probably pretty familiar with this priceless section of the cloud. Maybe you even worked with me directly when you were first getting onboarded. And this is where inflation has a very real impact on how you're using Magic Plan. One of the most common things that I hear from the customers that I work with and implement is three, six months down the line, hey, how do I update my prices most effectively? Well, there's two approaches to how you can do this, one of them in the cloud and one of them in the Excel priceless template that you initially set up, and I'm here to discuss those today. So let's do the first one in the cloud to show you how you can do small changes to your price list. By clicking edit and going to my items view, I can see all of the items that I ever uploaded for this price list. This is a pretty small one, only 25 line items compared to some of the thousand line item price lists that I've worked with customers on. But if I scroll to the right, you'll see there is a price column. So maybe this first line item here, what do we have? Uh, let's take the basic stud right here. Maybe let's say that this is $20 now. I just wanna do a quick adjustment and demonstrate how we do this. Coming down to the price section here within the edit, I can click confirm, and just like that, it's $20. So again, that was clicking here on edit, coming down to price, and then clicking confirm after I've made my changes. Now, this is super effective if you have one to five line items that you need to quickly adjust. Maybe you have 10, it's really up to you. Um, just depends on your comfort level with Excel, which is the other method that we offer for updating prices. Now, the Excel method is going to be far superior for doing bulk updates to your price list. Um, let's give a good example. Maybe all of your labor costs, you want to do a blanket increase of 20% on all of your labor costs, right? You just want to match the competitive prices that you're seeing in your surrounding area. And 20% is the number that you landed upon. This price list doesn't have a labor category, but it does have painting. So let's go into Excel by clicking download. This will give us the latest version of this price list. And let's show you how it would update all of those painting line items by 20%. Now, once I adjust this down, let's make it a little bit smaller. Let's zoom in a little bit for you. Now, the first thing that's really important here is to make sure that you have a categorical system and a SKU or organization system in here. Now this one I've done a lot of demonstrations on, so some of these are all um, changed up, but in general you see that I have a category assigned and I have a numerical system here, 04 for painting, there's one other included here, but um, 03 for my flooring, so you get the idea. The reason this is advantageous is because then I can come in here and I can filter, let's do categories, I can filter by my categories. So rather than labor, I'm gonna go find painting here for the sake of this example. And now see all of these prices right here in the spreadsheet. Now just to verify these are the same prices, you'll see, okay, this uh, standard ladder is 72, standard ladder, Let's see, painter Maria, 720, great. So these are the same prices and Let's go back to that labor example, or we can keep it with painting here. Let's say I wanna do a 20% increase on all these prices. Really simple, I'll just come over to here to have some blank space on the spreadsheet. Don't worry, we'll delete this afterwards. And I'm going to highlight this column and multiply it by 1.2. Now you might be asking yourself, Ben, why did you say 1.2, but you put a comma. I am in Germany, my computer's configured for the German system. So if you are in the US, just be aware that this is the same thing as a period. I'll click enter, and I have a 20% increase on Painter Maria's 720 price. I'll just go ahead and drag this down, and all of my costs will then be updated. Um, now, really important here, once I've done this, I wanna highlight these fields that I want to replace, and I wanna paste values. This is really important here. So now I have the values here. You see that this updated again for another 20%. Doesn't matter, we can delete this now. And our prices have stayed the same to the newly updated prices that we just made. So I can quickly save this. This is number nine. 
I'll upload this back into the cloud. And let's go to the painting section. So Maria should be 864 now. Great, so 864. Great. So you see all the line items have been updated there. Now, one important disclaimer here is always make sure that you are building upon your price list. So if you add any additional line items that you do it in this spreadsheet rather than a brand new template, because if you upload that a brand new separate template to the same price list here in the cloud, it will replace all of the data that's not existing uh, in that new version. So that's a really quick way to delete some of your hard work here in the price list. Um, so really important that you operate within the same file that you've been operating in. Um, you can always get the latest version again by just downloading. But then secondly, once you are done with all your changes, you verify them here in the cloud, you want to publish this. So I'll come in here, I'll update this. And then the next time I log into the application, I'll be able to refresh it. If I'm on iOS, I'll update the workspace configuration. And once I've done that, I'll be ready to roll with these new prices. We're really curious to see if you find this helpful. So we'd really love to start a conversation with you. Leave us a comment, drop us a like, let us know what you think about this and the topic of inflation as a whole. And stay tuned for more informational videos like this in the future. I'm really looking forward to hearing your thoughts and I hope everyone has a great day. Take care.